Hey guys, this is Mr. Roxy. I'm uh, sitting here in one of my warehouses in uh, a place called Mangonia Park, which is in Florida. I'm sure you've never heard of Mangonia Park before and that's okay, because that's where I hide sometimes when I try to uh, make a contribution to the economy. Uh, but a few of you have asked me a question related to uh, Occidental's latest forum for SEC filings, which uh, as usual happened uh, in the dead of night. Uh, last night, sort of, uh, I don't know what time it was, probably 9 p.m. or something, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Uh, we got an email saying, hey, Occidental's just filed a Forum 4 with the SEC. And then if you looked at the uh, Forum 4, it was kind of a little bit of gibberish. So I thought I'll make a quick video and uh, just share with you uh, what those things mean, because you might have seen it and then you didn't know what it was. Uh, so I thought, you know what, since um, I'm Mr. Roxy, I better uh, just take a little bit of uh, time in a few minutes just to uh, sort of show you what that thing is. Let me see um, if I can move myself out of the way once again. Uh, as usual, I don't know what you see when uh, you're looking at my screen, but here we are. Uh, Occidental's March 29th SEC filing explained. Uh, so here's the uh, thing I was talking about. This was an email that came uh, yesterday evening. Uh, form 4, a new Form 4 for Occidental. Um, March 29th has been filed with the United States Securities and Exchange Commission. And then, of course, if you uh, click on this little link in the email, which I suggest you never do, you should always go to the website and download it from there because you never know if this is uh, a phishing type email. Uh, so be careful when you click hyperlinks in your email. But anyway, I'm probably uh, preaching to the choir. Um, anyway, if you do click on the uh, little link that says view the filing, then you see this uh, horrible piece of paper here, which looks like it was uh, just created yesterday evening using DOS 6. Uh, it doesn't even include this very pretty logo here at the top left, Oxy. I added that uh, on the screen just to make it look a little bit more pretty. But basically what you're looking at here is the statement of changes in beneficial ownership filed by Occidental Petroleum. And the issuer name is Western Midstream Partners. Now, of course, this form is significantly longer than what I'm showing you on the screen right now. And I'm going to kind of skip by the middle portion of the form and show you the bottom in just a minute. And then it says the type of security over here, the common units, uh, limited partner interest. We'll uh, talk about that in just a second. I'll tell you what it means. 11,500,000 disposed, so disposition. So this is a sale at a price of $17.25 each. And then the amount of securities beneficially owned following the reported transaction remains 202,781,578. And then you have the little thing here on the far right hand side at the bottom that says C footnotes. Um, the other things that are important to take a note on this particular form is right in the middle of the form, it says the date of the uh, transaction, which is March 25th, so just a few days ago. And then you can also see over here, uh, the relationship to the reporting issuer is a um, director and 10% owner. So let's skip by the middle of the form and we go to the bottom because that's where the footnotes are. Uh, I'm not going to read to uh, to you these um, footnotes because you can uh, pull up the form and read it for yourself if you're really interested in reading the footnotes. What I did uh, actually do is I contacted uh, Occidental Investor Relations and I said, um, guys, help me out with some daylights here because uh, reading the footnotes reads a little bit like where in the world is Wally because there are references here not only to Occidental but also to Western Midstream Partners, Western, Mid Western Midstream Holdings. WGR Asset Holdings, Bank of America Securities, who is the underwriter, and so on and so on and so on. So uh, it's like reading the who's who of whomever owns whatever is related to this particular financial instrument. So Occidental explains. So as I said, I asked Occidental Investor Relations, and this is what they said to me in response. They said the Form 4 filings list several different subsidiaries, but the straightforward explanation is that Occidental or Oxy sold 11.5 million US units, which are master limited partnership shares. So for people who ask, what is the difference between um, a unit and a share? In this particular instance, we're not talking about common stock or shares that are traded on the stock exchange, but actually master limited partnership shares, which are often expressed or referred to as units. At the end of 2019, Oxy stated that we would reduce our ownership and it's written in the first person because this is them writing to me. Occidental stated that we would reduce our ownership in West limited partner units below 50%. Our intent was to reduce ownership below 50%. 
And that was one of several initiatives that contributed to us being able to deconsolidate West beginning with 2020 financial year. At December 31st, 2020, as we show on the slide below, and I'm going to show you on the next screen, our ownership remained at 51.5%. That was as of December 31st, 2020. Last week, we sold 11.5 million West Limited Partnership units for net proceeds of $198 million. This reduced our ownership in the limited partnership to 49%. And here's a little slide. It's a bit blurry because unfortunately I enlarged it a little bit too big, but this is West operating as an independent company, the relationship at a glance. And this is from the um, uh, conference uh, slide deck that we saw as of December 31st, 2020. Oxy's ownership position as of December 31st, 2020 was 2% of West operating, non-voting, 51.5% of West limited partner units. And that is what we're referring to in this particular SEC filing. And then 2% of the general partnership unit interest in West non-voting shares. So I hope that clears it up for you. And I hope it brings a little bit of daylight to um, what this actually looked like. If you enjoyed the video, um, please feel free to subscribe. And uh, of course, I do this kind of stuff so that, so that you don't have to. By the way, uh, this uh, incredibly scenic backdrop behind me is one of our shelves with handmade leather bags and goodies, which is one of the uh, small businesses that we are invested in, in an opportunity zone in uh, Southern Florida. Uh, so guys, that's it from Mr. Oxy on, uh, on this happy note uh, with um, Oxydental generating about $200 million in cash by selling uh, a little bit of West. Uh, that's the story and that's the news. Uh, other than that, uh, stay strong, be safe, stay away from COVID and thank you for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.